So, no selfie cam on this one that I usually have here. Today I just want to go over some shit. Mainly, uh, what's going on with fucking Firefox. So, if we go into our software manager here, you can see that I don't actually have Firefox installed. And there's actually a reason for that. And that is, Firefox has just gone to shit. Um, Mozilla in general has really just gone to shit. So right now I'm using Waterfox, um, which is based off, I think it's based off Firefox 68. Um, now the only problem I run into is two things. One, uh, my current bank uh, is giving me shit that my browser is not the latest and up-to-date. Uh, apparently they're not familiar with Firefox ESR. Uh, it's fine. It's not unsecure. They can go fuck themselves. I'm not updating it any further. I can't anyways. Um, but Waterfox is actually installed through the MX Linux repositories. Um, it's the only place I've seen it, honestly. So, Firefox is basically turning into a fucking Brave clone. And uh, I don't really like the Brave browser at all. I never have. I've tried it. It, it fucking sucks. Um, and then there's Thunderbird. So, fun fact. I actually used to use, uh, and not too long ago either, for certain purposes I would use Outlook Mail. If you sign into your Outlook Mail through Thunderbird, for whatever fucking reason... Microsoft will ban your account uh, for security reasons, and then you'll have to fucking talk to them on the phone and explain to them, and then promise not to use Thunderbird ever again as a mail client, because, and it's not just Thunderbird that, uh, I mean, not just Outlook that has that problem. I've had the same fucking problem with Gmail, uh, so apparently mail clients are fucking dead, I don't know what the fuck's going on with them, but apparently, however these mail services have their shit set up, it makes it so you can't use Thunderbird anymore, which back when I was 19 was like the last time I fucking used it, so that's about 10 years ago. Um, I'll just log on to whatever email service I'm using through the web browser. Um, so I don't use Firefox, and basically Waterfox just has all the telemetry taken out. Um, there's really, that's the only difference is it's a little bit behind and all the telemetry and shit's stripped out. Now, as of right now, I don't have any privacy concerns or anything I've seen that can, but uh, Waterfox was bought um, by the same company that bought StartPage. Um, I forget who bought stop page, start page, but uh, I think it's uh, I don't even fucking know. I forget, but uh, it's basically like an advertisement company or some shit. System one, that was it. So System 1 now owns StartPage and uh, Waterfox. And uh, I don't know too much about StartPage. I mean, System 1, I mean. Sorry, I'm like half asleep right now. Sleep to get a little fucked up. But, uh... It looks like some shady, shady bullshit, basically. So, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to even recommend Waterfox, honestly. Uh, as of right now, I would recommend it over Firefox, even though it's a little outdated. Um, I would advise against using Chrome altogether, honestly. It's, uh... 
The only version of Chrome I have is Vivaldi, which is based off Chromium. Um, and that is not open source. Uh, but the only reason why I have it is because, for some reason, due to the fact that Chrome is the most popular fucking browser, uh, anytime I apply for a job, more than likely, the web page doesn't work on Firefox because whoever fucking developed it uh, didn't bother. I couldn't fucking tell you. Um, then you have... Brothers like Midori. And, uh... Gnome Web. I can't seem to find that. Here it is, this one. Now, what's really nice about these is it's based off WebKit, which is Apple's fucking thing, uh, but it is open source. Now, the problem I have is this is a Dell Studio 1557. It's over fucking 10 years old, and just starting the Epiphany Browser, or Gnome Web, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, it overloads my fucking CPU. It, it literally causes my entire computer for fucking thermal throttle. Um, I would like to see more... Uh, more WebKit-based browsers, honestly. That don't fucking suck, honestly. Because uh, the problem I have with Midori and even Gnome Web, besides the fact that Gnome Web is causing my computer to thermal throttle, um, is there's no plugins... So I have the DuckDuckGo Privacy Essentials plugin, uBlock Origin, EF, e, e, Electronic Privacy Fund, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, I think it's EFF. Yeah, this one. Uh, so I got their Privacy Badger uh, add-on. I got WebRTC Blocker. Um, I got HTTPS everywhere, and then I got Decentralize, as well as a Facebook container. Um, these are basically mandatory, in my opinion, anytime you're using the web. Um, it, it's just very great for privacy. Um, now, I think it was GNOME Web. Um, allows you to Firefox sync, even though it's not based off Firefox, which is weird. Uh, Midori is just crap. It, I mean, it's very lightweight, and it works very well. Um, better than the Epiphany browser. Uh, but honestly, the lack of plugins and constant bombardment of apps and all that sh ads and all that shit, um, I just can't use it, or recommend it for that matter. Um... And it kind of sucks that uh, Firefox has been losing market share so much. So if we look up that, because if you think about Google for a second, okay? So yeah, this this isn't fucking good. Um, who the fuck is using Samsung HL? Oh, fucking uh, mobile, mobile. That would be it. Uh, let's go to desktop. So get down there. Okay. Thankfully, no one's using Internet Explorer anymore. Um, or Opera. Fuck Opera. Um, so the second second one is Firefox, but this right here is a problem. Because if you think about what we know about fucking Google, uh, first off, they got started with CIA money. Um, that's just a fact. And anytime the CIA is involved with anything, you have to really question privacy concerns there or the motives behind it. Um, we also know Google just 
collects data to no avail. Uh, that's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, to no end, sorry. Uh, there, there's just no end in the amount of data they're willing to collect. Uh, if they have to build a bunch more servers to store that data, they will. And the problem is, you are not the consumer there, you are the product. Uh, so 70, 70 fucking percent of people using this bullshit are a product. They're not the consumer. Um, because they are making money off everything you type, everything into your browser, everything you search for. Um, it is a privacy nightmare. Um, so this really does need to change. But unfortunately, I don't think many people even know that Firefox exists anymore. Um, they've, they've really fucked it up. I mean, between Firefox OS uh, and a bunch of other stupid shit they've done, uh, like I said, they're fucking becoming a Brave clone. Um, and the Brave browser is fucking shit. I hate it. Um, to the point where, e even though, like, say what you will about Apple. I mean, their products are fucking overpriced. Their hardware is fucking shit. Their, their engineering is crap. But they know how to make software. And WebKit is a fantastic backend. And I feel like if... Not even Firefox. Just like if anyone teamed up with Apple and like made a privacy-focused browser based off WebKit, I feel like that would actually do very well. But right now, the ones we have, like Midori and fucking Gnome Web, not many people even know they exist. Uh, partly because Linux is... Uh, very niche operating system. <laughs> and uh, it turns out less people in America are using Firefox than uh, worldwide. So uh, that's even worse, given all the shit. Uh, my country's doing right now to uh, strip you of your privacy. You know, there's a meme I've seen like a few variations of online where uh, you know, it's like, hey, in the 60s I, I shouldn't say that on the phone because someone might be listening. And then, you know, they got some asshole talking to an Alexa, like, Hey, Wiretap, how do I make pancakes? And, and like, unfortunately, that's just true. Like, people keep using Windows, people keep using uh, Chrome, and, and then they wonder why there's fucking all these ads and how... Well, and they don't fucking understand it, because they don't bother to educate themselves on how things work. Uh, and, and so, naturally, the companies are taking advantage of their naivete and their stupidity, uh, or their lack there of knowledge, and then you end up with this shit. Where Linux globally has like a less than 2% market share. Also, no one's using BSD. That, that is hilarious to me. And not very surprising either, I mean... No offense, like, I've tried using BSD, it is a fucking nightmare. I would rather put up with trying to use Manjaro. And that is a nightmare and a half. But, like, when it comes to privacy. Like, look at that. Yeah, sure, Apple's pretty private, but not nearly as good as Linux. But, like, almost 80% of fucking people are using Windows 10. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, the amount of adware and spyware based into those operating systems, baked into those operating systems is fucking... It, it, it ceases to amaze me that they're even legally allowed to. So more people are using Chrome OS and Linux uh, in America. Granted, more people are using Apple, but... Nah. What the fuck is OS 2?
So yeah, I mean I've already made a video on privacy. I'm not gonna do that again really, but like this is just like a mini rant of how uh, basically my thought on everything is everything shit. I mean it really is if you think about it. I mean more and more of, of software coming out is fucking either only made for Windows or uh, you know if you're going to find a new web browser to check it out, it's probably going to be based on fucking Chrome. And, like, the more this shit is supported, the less we as a people have for privacy. And, uh, the fact that, you know, for the sake of convenience, people are just willing to give up their right to privacy is fucking, fucking incredible, man. It really is. And I honestly don't understand it for the life of me, but that's where we are. Fucking Firefox is becoming a brave clone. Fucking everything, every fucking browser on the market is based on fucking Chrome. Uh, and, you know, thankfully Linux doesn't have that high of a market share. It's kind of a thankfulness and a what the fuck at the same time, you know. On one hand, I'm thankful because less users means more people who know how to use it are using it, and less viruses and malware because it's not, you know, as big as uh, Windows is. But on the other hand, that means everyone's using Windows and, like, their privacy is just out the fucking window. And uh, it makes them look stupid, honestly. It really does. Like, if you're willing to use a processor like Intel, regardless of all the hardware flaws that can put your privacy at risk. If you're willing to use an operating system that's got key loggers, adware, uh, possibly malware, and all this other shit in it, like, what the fuck are you using this thing for? Um, you know, it's really funny, because Windows used to complain, oh, don't use a cracked operating system, it might have all this shit in it. And then Windows 10 comes out and they put all the shit they warned you about of cracked operating systems having into their official OS. And, uh... It's just really fucking concerning the way things are going in regards to privacy. And, uh, thankfully we still have Linux. Uh, I don't know how much longer Firefox is going to be around, to be honest, though. Uh... If it does survive, I don't know if I'm going to even be able to recommend it. I really don't.